Hey guys, this is Adam Gusso from Modern Blues Harmonica. One of the most important things you can do as a developing harmonica player is develop an interesting rhythmic concept. Let me tell you what I mean. Imagine, for the sake of argument, that you play blues guitar and imagine that your idea of blues guitar is to, ma is to machine gun a series of 16th notes or machine gun a series of undifferentiated triplets. Well, that's not bluesy. It's rocky. It has that rock sound, but it's not bluesy. The most important thing for blues is really not just the, the a, a melodic subtlety of where the bent pitches are. Oh, this harp needs to be adjusted. Man, let me spit in it. I just need to take it apart. You know what I should do? God dang it. I should show you how I do that. On the spot. God, I'm going to do it. Yes, and this is a Honer Marine Band. I love them. But by golly, sometimes they need to be adjusted. And I'm going to show you how I do it when I'm just a little bit bugged. So I've got a, a tool here. It's a little screwdriver you can use. And, and I'm going to take it. All right, I want to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually hook it underneath here. I'm going to lift up a little bit on either end. Okay, this is do not try this at home. Do not, do not. And of course, I need to put on my glasses. Excuse me for a second. I'm going to put on my glasses because I'm going to show you exactly what I do. And I know that I can make this harp in about 60 seconds perform better on that three hole draw. And I'll tell you why. Exactly. I found exactly where I knew I was going to find. If you take a look at the third hole, one, two, three, can you see? So there's, there's one, two, three. It is, and you, and you look at the little space here. Can you see the space there? If I go like this, you'll see a little line. I'm looking for that line. It is gapped really tight, way too tight. All right, and that, and I just knew that. So I'm going to rip off a little piece of paper here. This is seat of the pants stuff. I've got a little piece of paper. I am going to slip it underneath that reed. See what I just did? All right. Now I'm going to. Do not try this at home. I'm going to, what I call massaging it. Now, I'm sure if you're a serious harp tech, you're going, oh, God, Adam, don't. You're going to just, people are going to snap stuff off. And I'm going to curl it up. I'm going to curl it up. And I, I'm going to just do it for myself. So you can watch me. I'm going to talk. But what I'm doing is gently increasing the gap. And I've got, and ve I, the stress is on the word gently because you could snap this sucker off and you... There's your harp and it's not working. Now, I'm not doing this as well as I want. I, maybe I need to fold it over so it's actually slightly thicker, which gives me slightly more, yes, there we go. So a slightly more effective room. I still haven't opened it quite enough, but I know now I'm on the hunt for, it's so satisfying to know what's wrong and to know that it just needed to be opened up a little more. It's just much too tightly gapped. All right, here we go. Uh, on the spot. Oh, God, Adam, don't break this. This is, is so dangerous. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I've got other... I've got the tools here. Maybe I should actually... I should pro Oop, did I lose my tools? Where did my tools go? Yeah, there's some piece that's supposed to be there that seems to have disappeared. Where'd it go? Oh, Lord. Have I lost my... Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. So, this little plinker, that'll, have, that'll work. But specifically, I can take this thing, aha, and I can go underneath there. Oh, it's so tightly. There we go. There we go. So now what I'm doing is I'm doing it closer to the way an actual harp tech would do it, and I can lift up on this. Oh, much better. It's actually much better. Yeah. Um, yep, that's working. And now I'm going to plink it. I'm going to make a little noise. Okay. And it tends to basically go right back where it was. So I'm going to do that again. Yep. I'm going to do that again. It's, oh, now I got it way too. So look what I did there. So now it's too far open. You see that? <laughs> That's too much. So now I can take my, uh, uh, if I want, I can just kind of take my, but it's going to play well. Now I'm going to plink it. Plink it. Okay. That's about right for me. Can you see that? You see how you see that third read and you see that dark line there? It's bigger than it was. You can go back and compare. And it's certainly bigger than those. I find that there's no downside risk for doing that. 
So now I'm going to just put the, the thing back on and it's going to play so much better, I can't tell you. And having this power, knowing what you need to do, so I'm just going to press the press these little things back on. This is actual real-time conversation. And watch this. Oh my god, it's so much better! Are you having a tough time with a harp? Does it stick a little bit? You can't really do the bend. Oh man, it's good. I love it. It's so much better. It's just so much better. And all it took was that, the right tool. Okay. Still in tune? Okay. So what were we talking about? We were talking about something and I danged if I can remember. Hold on. I'll be back with you.